Let us learn some of the application of mitosis in our real life. So the first one being the tissue cultures, where we were able to clone the plants that you like in science lab. But we don't stop at plant, we now can also clone those kind of meat in science lab. Yes, we can eventually make burger out from the meat that we produce in science lab. And not only that, in medical field, we can use stem cell therapy to repair some of the damaged tissue in our body. Let's explore more about tissue cultures. Tissue culture is basically the growth of the tissue or cell in a culture medium under a sterilized conditions. So for example, I love money a lot. So I always think of, is there any way to duplicate money? But then it's eventually illegal to do so. So this is why I don't think of duplicate money anymore. But instead, I think of something similar, which is to clone money plan. As cloning money plan is not illegal at all. So I can clone as many money plan as I like by knowing the method of tissue cultures. Now we're going to learn what are the procedures of tissue cultures, where every student can make potato salad. So the first step is we want to get a sample of the plant that you want to clone, either from the shoot, the stem, or the root. So those samples is what we call as the explant. But then, to make sure that they are free from microorganism, we're going to sterilize it first. And then, transfer the sample into a culture medium where it will contain all the necessary nutrients for the plant to grow healthily. Whenever they have enough of nutrients, cell division will occur. So mitosis will actually divide the cell rapidly until it forms a lump of cells called colors. And when colors continue to grow, become embryo, an embryo will become now a baby plant, which we call as a plantlet. The plantlet will now be transferred into the soil for the further growth. So how do we transfer the concept into sentences? So first, we have the explant. So part of the plant tissue are being cut is what we know as explant. So those explant is being sterilized to make sure that they are free from microorganisms. Once it's done, we're going to transfer this explant into a glass like test tube or eventually petri dish that contain the culture medium. Culture medium is a solution that contains all the necessary nutrients for the plant to grow. So this is where the plant will carry on with the mitosis and produce a lot of the undifferentiated tissue. Undifferentiated tissue is the unspecialized cells where they don't have a special function but just the building block or what we call as a raw materials for the cell to become a specialized cell later on. And then if it grows into embryo and sooner or later it becomes the baby plant is what we call as a plantlet. And then we're going to transfer it to the soil for the further growth. So basically choose a plant that you like and carry on with the tissue cultures. It's not only the money plant, it might be the durian that you love, D24 or eventually Musang King. For culture meat, we just need to replace the part of the plant tissue to the muscle tissue or muscle cell from the animals or the meat that you like. It might be a cow, a lamb, or maybe even some of the other animals. And next, let's explore about stem cell therapy. First, we need to know what is the meaning of stem cell. Stem cells are eventually the undifferentiated cells which later on can be differentiated into a specialized new cells. You can imagine stem cells are just like student, where now we don't have any specific skill yet. But then, if I send you to the medical school, 
then next time you can specialize in become a doctor or if i send you to the law school then you can become lawyer so stem cells are just the raw materials or the building blocks which haven't have any specialized skill or function yet but later on when they grow they can slowly develop those kind of skills just like you you might be the future lawyer doctor engineer or whatever professional so usually those kind of stem cell can be found in the bone marrow where we can extract it from our back bone or from our spine so those kind of stem cells can be used to repair the damaged tissue where we can let the stem cell differentiate into the specific cells eventually all of our body cells are derived from the stem cells so for example cartilage regenerations this is a picture of a patient that has osteoarthritis the cartilage of the bone is now broken so what should we do is we can inject the stem cell into cartilage it's just same as we inject the student to the medical school then sooner or later the student will become doctor for these situations where we inject the stem cells it will eventually go into the cartilage and differentiate to become the new cartilage tissue this is how it helps us to repair the damaged tissue as a result it will reduce the pain of the patient and improve the joint functions so this is the bright side of mitosis there is a dark side of mitosis whenever mitosis goes without control where if we keep divide without any control to produce a lump of the abnormal cells called tumor so for example this cell supposed to divide only to become three cells but sometimes it just divide without control where it form a lot of the cells that we not eventually needed you can think of like this is the photocopy machine you want to make exactly five copy of your exam papers but then after you press the button the machine just go crazy and just keep copy the exam paper without being asked to do so so this is what we call as tumors for this tumor is still considered not that worse is because these cells is just at their local area is what we call as the benign tumors but sometimes those cells are being naughty where they just want to explore more in other part of your body this is not a good thing and we call it as a malignant tumors so benign tumor is not cancerous because those cells will just remain at the original locations where they don't spread to other part of your body and attack other healthy cells in the other hand malignant tumor is cancerous and those kind of cells will eventually spread and invade other cells so we will use a very specific terms which is called metastasis to describe the movement of the cancer cell in your body so most of the times those kind of cancer cells spread through your body through lymphatic system and the blood circulatory system or sometimes they just carry on with the local invasion where they will just attack or attach to the nearby organ or nearby tissue and last let's go through what are the factors that causes this kind of tumors one of them is the mutation of dna whenever the dna is damaged means they will have the incorrect sequence or information about how to divide those kind of cells might be the correct recipe is to make a five copy of these kind of things but then this kind of information is missing from the dna so this is why they will just keep on repeating to make these kind of copies which will eventually causes tumors or 
when the people is exposed to the ionizing radiation like alpha, beta, gamma, or even x-ray, this kind of radiation will eventually damage the cells which also causes tumor. Or when we consume this kind of carcinogenic compound like alcohol, cigarette, or the food that contains a lot of the chemicals might cause cancer or tumor as well. So eventually we can treat those kind of tumors or cancer if they are still in the early stage before they spread to the other part of the body. So some of the treatments are like radiotherapy where we use a very high energy beam and precise to kill the cancer cells. Or we use chemotherapy which is eventually we consume those kind of drugs to kill the cancer cells. So this is why it's very important for us to find those kind of tumor in the early stage. At least those kind of radiotherapy and chemotherapy still can kill those kind of cancer cells before they spread around and it's too late. Hey, you want to join my online tuition class? Please drop me a message on telegrams. Or if you want to support us so that we can make more videos like this, the simplest way is just to share the video with your friends hit the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.